Hey everyone, I'm Asia, and here are the five things you need to know about buying a bra. Nah, 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 nah. I sound so dumb saying class. Class, class. The compression bra keeps your boobs com ah, keeps your boobs. When I'm on stage, show me boobs. <laughs> the first thing you need to know about bras is your size. Let's cut to the chase straight out the gate. Either you hate bra fitting or you've never had it done before. There's actually an easy way to do it. When you go into a department store and you're ready to buy a bra, just ask the salesperson to help you or you can just buy a tape measure and do it at home. There's always this dread that you go on a cup size up or down or you're confused as to how you can be a 38C and a 36D at the same time. Here are some tips to know if your bra is fitting. You should wear your bra on the outermost hook, not the inner ones. Then, as your bra loosens, you should work your way into the inner hooks. The second thing you need to know about buying a bra is what kind of bra to buy. Hold up on style and focus on this. You need a lift or nah. Do you need a demi bra? Do you need a push up bra? Do you need a bra with full coverage? Cue the Playtex commercials. No, no, no commercials. You can always ask those same people in department stores what bra would best suit your needs. Or sometimes it's just trial and error. Let me paint a picture for you. At some point while I was in high school, I thought I could get away without wearing that pesky underwire in my bra. I realized I was wrong when bloop, my breast would fall out from under it. Never again. The third thing you need to know about buying bras is the sports bra. And yes, it gets its own number because this may be the smartest bra ever made. There are typically two types of sports bras, a compression bra and an encapsulation bra. They're exactly how they sound. The compression bra keeps your boobs compressed to your chest for support, but the encapsulation bra is better for women with a larger cup size. It supports your breasts like a regular bra would. Typically, these aren't wired and are acceptable as a top piece of clothing when you're working out. Also, there are no clips and tags in the back making you itchy. Funny story about these little lifesavers. When I was just eight years old, a sports bra was the first bra I ever wore. And it saved me from being teased as one of the only girls in my class to develop early. They've come a long way. The fourth thing you need to know about buying bras is how many and how often do you need to buy them? Figuring out how often to buy a new bra depends on how often you actually wear them and how often you wash them. Wash your bra too often and it'll probably lose its shape. You should probably hand wash or gentle wash after every three wears or so. Having several of your everyday bras can actually make it a lot easier if you put them in rotation. A good rule of thumb is to replace your bras after every six months. Some of us may keep it a little too long and it's not pretty. <laughs> The fifth and final thing you need to know about buying bras is that you don't really need to buy these breast traps if you really don't want to. So this may negate my entire perspective this entire time I've been telling you about buying bras. But really, I'm just saying it's up to you. I mean, I have four basic bras in rotation, two demis and two push-up. Demis for more comfortable t-shirt days and push-ups for those crop top days. And I just wear them because they make me feel comfortable and supported. See, but if I didn't care where these babies landed, I'd just ditch it. And honestly, bras are pretty expensive. So all the more reason to free the nipple. Hashtag free the nipple. But also you don't really have to spend a lot of money on bras. There's actually a link in the description below if you want to find some for under $30. Thanks for watching the five things you need to know about buying bras. See you next time. Thanks for watching the five things you need to know. For more videos, click here. And to subscribe, click here.